It's the Los Angeles Angels going up against the Kansas City Royals. And we'll be back with the first pitch right after this. Just about set to go now. Our starting pitcher in this one, Cole Reagans. What should we keep an eye on here? Well, he comes at hitters with a five-pitch mix, so for him, it's always interesting to see how he utilizes those weapons. He may lean on one or two pitches, depending on how things are going and how things are working, but if he can control four or even five of those offerings, look out, hitters. It's going to be a tough day. He's really going to be able to keep those guys off balance. Luis Renjifo gets a chance to hit here. Missed with a changeup, and we're underway. The 1 0. Late swing fouled off. The why to kick the pitch. Turned on, but foul wide of third. Bounce to the right side. Massey gathers and throws to first. One out in the top of the first. All right, let's take a look at the Angels lineup. And now batting, Mike Trout. That's a little bit low. Trout is one of the best players of his generation. He's a fan favorite because he brings a rare combination of speed, power, and all-around talent to the team. He's exactly the type of player you want to build around. And that one's a little bit low. And that's ball two. And there's a ball. Next offering is in for a strike. Thought the green light might be on right there, but maybe not. If you're looking to swing in that count, that's the pitch you want. Bounced, and that got the pitcher. Safe at first, and now after the play, we'll check on the lefty status. Catcher coming out to check on him. It looked like it got him on his back leg. So you'll wonder if that might be a problem for him in terms of pushing off the rubber. Yeah, it's a great point, and we'll have to see how he looks. But to me, it appears he's moving pretty well. I think it's just going to sting for a while, but hopefully nothing more. Brandon Drury to the plate. And a foul ball. In the air, right field. Sizes this one up. Nabs it. Batting four. The right fielder, number three, Taylor. And next for L.A., Taylor Ward. On the corner for a strike. 0 and 1. Swing and a miss. Chased it out of the zone. Good fastball going early until they show they can make some good contact. You keep on throwing the pitch. Two gone, but the go ahead run is at first. And we're just getting started here in the top of the first. And he can't come up with it. But they get the out at first, and that'll do it for the inning. Angels strand one. The Royals will get their chance now in a scoreless ball game. You're dialed into the show. Back here at Kauffman Stadium, 
Today's starting pitcher, Reed Detmers. What do you look for here? It's always interesting to see how he utilizes all of his pitches and how many of those he has a good feel for on that given day. When he's right, he's really able to keep hitters guessing, and all of his stuff seems to be coming out of the same arm slot, the same tunnel, and that can make life very difficult on his opponents. And now, MJ Melendez. The wind of the pitch. There's a strike. Left hand batter waits. And now the count is even. Swang and a high fly ball in the air left field. Moniak going back and it's off the wall. Safe at second with a leadoff double. Everything came together for him. Showed off some really nice oppo pop with that swing and just couldn't get it over the fence. But I absolutely love everything about that approach and the mechanics right there. Now here's Bobby Witt Jr. And that one a little below the knees. And that's ball one. Melendez stands at second with no outs. And now two and nothing. And the slider just misses. Back to back breaking pitches away you get the feeling as a hitter that the pitchers afraid of you that he doesn't want to challenge you so I think the confidence level is raised right here. Next offering is in for a strike. And that's ball four. Now this was a story we were paying attention to before the game. We've seen him give up walks in the past and it's an issue once again early on. And now it's Salvador Perez to the plate. Hit pretty well in the air out to center. Trout is there. Squeezes it. Runner tags it second. And he moves up 90 feet. Runners at the corners now. One away. The first baseman. And here now, the lineup for the Royals. Two on, one out. And to the plate for Kansas City, Vinny Pasquantino. And fouled off. Well, all eyes on the double play ball in this spot. No better way to get out of this inning. Swing and a miss, and he got him to chase. Big pitch right here. He's going to try to make a pitch. It's going to produce a strikeout or a ground ball double play. Lefty out of the stretch, runners at first and third. And a swing and a miss. Huge strikeout there. Certainly a strikeout situation right there. The infield playing back, and this pitcher has to step off and get the swing and miss. Really nice job of attacking the hitter at the plate. Pretty big two out at bat coming up now. Hunter Renfro at the plate. And a foul ball left side. Two on, two outs. Pitch misses there. 
And the count one and two. Recognize that changeup right out of the hand. Just spit on it. One, two. And a swing and a miss. That's the inning. Well, this guy competes hard. We see the emotion there. I love it. Great job of getting out of the jam. Here in Kansas City, here's Anthony Rendon up to the plate. Anthony Rendon. As the lefty gets to work, popped up foul territory behind the plate. Perez drifts towards it, calls it in, and there's one away. Well, that was a pitch you got to crush. Unbelievable that he missed it right there. And I'm telling you, he is going to be frustrating with himself until his next at bat. Mickey Moniak digs in now. Ripped to the right center. And that should be extra bases. Around second now, going for three. And he's got himself a triple. Now, no waiting around right there. He was ready to swing it on the first pitch. Just a solid swing right there. Caught it out front and ripped it into the outfield for the base hit. Those always feel great. Runner in scoring position now and a good opportunity to push across the first run of the ball game. Now the catcher up to hit. Logan Ohapi. That one not close. Ball one. This hitter loves attacking the first pitch, so not giving him something to hit is a good move. The 1-0. -oh. Eric Summersgill, our plate umpire. One thing to watch out for, Boog, is what side of the plate Summersgill might be favoring. He usually sets up at an angle. Pitchers sometimes will try to figure that out early so they can attack that spot and get as many strike calls as possible. This is a situation where the hitter is looking for something up in the zone that he can get his arms extended. What you have to be careful of is that pitch that's up that's in on your hands. That'll pop you up in the infield, and that's exactly what the pitcher wants. That's off the mark. Ball three. The pitch. Fouls one away, and now three and two. And now the lefty. Foul. We'll see another payoff pitch. Kicks and fires. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Pulled the string on the changeup. Definitely a strikeout situation right there, and he got it. You do not want him to put the ball in play and want to strand that runner at third. Now all he needs is one more out to get it. Doesn't have to be a strikeout this time since now they're two outs. Nolan Shanuel, the next to hit for the Angels. That one missed. Two outs. Swings through that one for strike one. Great velocity at 97 at the top of the zone. On the ground. And foul ball. And a pitch. And down on strikes he goes. 
Third out, and that ends the frame. No runs, one hit, no errors, and a man left. We go to the bottom of inning number two. No score. And welcome back to the ballpark. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Here's the second baseman, Michael Massey. And he deals. And that's a base hit. Man aboard on the leadoff single. Well, clearly he was ready to hit right there. These days, when you see a ball come off the bat like that, I mean, the first thing you want to know as a spectator, what was the exit velocity? 109 in this case. I mean, that's just impressive, and it's so cool we can get that sort of feedback so instantly in today's game. Now it's the DH, Nelson Velasquez. Fastball for a strike. Nothing, nothing here in the bottom of the second. Ball one low. Late that time, and it's strike two. Kicks and deals. Struck him out looking. Frustrating end to the at bat for the hitter, and I'm sure that's going to sit on him for a little while. You want to be ready to hit the fastball. Sometimes you can overthink things, and I think that was the case right there. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. And a pitch. That breaking ball is in for a strike, and quickly it is nothing in two. Just off the outside part of the plate. It's a good take. And a pitch. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. Well, interesting. He's looking very comfortable out of the stretch after giving up the leadoff single. Back-to-back -back strikeouts, so they haven't been able to move that runner up, get him in the scoring position, and try to have a better chance of scoring. I tell you, good job so far on the mound. He just needs one more out. Now the third baseman. That one fouled off. The pitch. And now two and one. Two gone, but the go ahead run is at first. Bottom half of inning number two. That one fouled off two and two. And here it comes. Fights it off, you'll see another. Pitch misses outside, and the count's full. MJ Melendez on deck for the Royals. Payoff pitch. Got him looking, that's a strikeout. So one left for Kansas City. We'll move to the third with no score. On to the third inning, and now it's going to be Zach Neto. Zach Neto. 
The wind of the pitch. There's the strike. Well, at that velocity, if that's all you're seeing, 88, you can handle that all day long. That's what you get in batting practice. But off the velocity of the fastball, that is a very tough pitch to adjust to. Off the mark there, and a count two and one. And there's the strike. Spoils the two strike pitch and he'll see another. The lefty fires. Got him looking and he did not like the call. So digging in Luis Rangifo. He's 0 for 1. First pitch doesn't find the zone. One out, base is empty. Right through there for a strike. Strike two. And that one just missed off the outside edge. Really good take, especially with two strikes. That misses, and it's a full count. Can't glove it cleanly, but he wins the foot race to first. Good job of knowing how much time he had there. Here's Trout. Reached on an infield single his first time. Great speed and great power. A great athlete, quite simply. He swings and fouls one off. When you have a real athletic player and who's able to do the baseball mechanical things really well, look out because the sky's the limit on that potential. Two outs, base is empty. Got him swinging. Angels held in check. Still no score. Back here at Kauffman Stadium, set for the bottom of the third. Now here's the leadoff hitter for the Royals, M.J. Melendez. Here comes the pitch. Right through there for a strike. On the ground, Rangifo tosses to first. Leadoff man retired here in the third. So up now for Kansas City, Bobby Witt Jr. He reached out a walk his first time. Fought off foul. You know, Boog, this is a player with some serious speed. In 2023, he became the first player in 20 years to record two infield hits and an inside the park home run in the same game. The shortstop takes the ball. Still tied at zero, last of the third. There's a swing and a miss. 
Well, baseball is coming out of his hand very well. He's been able to paint all four corners, but really good ride at the top of the zone. Hitters have to respect that. Very difficult pitch to hit. Stays alive. Looked like you got a little excited on that fastball. Got to think to yourself, I want to stay up the middle. That way, if you're a little bit early, you hit it out of the ballpark. If you're a little late, opposite field not. Lifted in the air, right field. Ward drifts towards it. He's got it, and there's two away. And now the catcher comes up to him. Salvador Perez, 0 for 1 with a fly out to center. Gets the outside corner with that one. Wow, just a beautiful backdoor slider right there. If you've got any chance of hitting that pitch, you have to wait until the absolutely last millisecond. Just a tough pitch to hit and not an easy one to throw either. Hammers that one deep left field and forget it. That'll fire up the dugout, and it gives them the lead in the third. It's 1-0. Boog, his plan was to hit the ball hard, and he was going to figure out the rest later. You can't argue with those results. A good hitter gets pitch recognition early. He saw exactly where that was going to be. The challenge, not get over anxious and come out of your swing. He stayed on it and got all of it. Base is empty with two away. Vinny Pasquantino steps in for the Royals. That one is absolutely belted. And it's out of here. And they tack one on the board. It's 2-0. First pitch hacking, and it paid off for him in a big way. Back-to-back -back homers, always a special feeling at the ballpark, especially if it's your team that does it and those guys get to slap hands at home plate. This is the kind of thing that can really fire up a ball club. So two away with nobody on. Now it's Hunter Renfro. Right through there for a strike. Renfro in his seventh season hitting fifth in today's lineup. He joined the team as a free agent. Next offering is downstairs. Two runs across in the inning here in the last half of the third. Down the line. And that's a foul ball. And a pitch. Got it by him for the K. But two round trippers in this inning. The long ball was working. It's now a 2 nothing ball game. Major League Baseball is on the show. New inning getting started, and now the designated hitter for the Angels, Brandon Drury. Well, after putting up a nice inning on offense, got some runs across, this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. You know, these Angels just lacking discipline at the plate in this ballgame. They're chasing a lot of pitches outside the zone, and those chases that are turning into a bunch of outs, can they turn that around and stay within the zone? We'll see, but I think they have to.
Everything came together perfectly for him right there. He put a great swing on that ball. Took the barrel right to it. Nice extension as well. 105 exit velocity. That tells you everything you need to know about that swing. Taylor Ward, the next to hit for the Angels. Run around the move. And that one fouled off. Nobody out. Runner at first. Ball one there. Swing and a high fly ball down the right field line. He's got it. One away. Anthony Rendon making his way to the plate. Popped out and foul ground first time through. Fastball for a strike. The Royals leading by two. Top half of inning number four. Foul ball there. At the belt and fires. And ball one. Good slider down and in can be so hard to get on plane with. You're better off taking that pitch. Kicks and fires. And that just misses. Man at first one away. High fly ball, right field. Renfro getting an angle on it. And makes the grab. Out number two. Now Mickey, Mickey Moniak, the next to hit. This is a batter right here who really produces in these night games, and we saw the latest example of it in his first A.B. High fly ball down the left field line. Melendez ranging back. And he brings it in on the warning track. So one hit is all they get to the bottom of inning number four now. It's the Royals two and the Angels nothing. Bottom of the fourth. Now it's the second baseman, Michael Massey. The second baseman, Michael Massey. The pitch. Fastball for a strike. Oh, he's looking great so far. It helps when over 80% of your first pitches are strikes. He might be able to go the distance if he keeps this up. Next offering is in for a strike. That one hammered center field. Trap going back. And that one hops the wall. Into second easily with a leadoff double. Wasting no time. He's two for two now on the night. And just a triple and home run away from the cycle. Seriously, we're starting with this already. So a man aboard and next is the designated hitter Nelson Velasquez swing and a miss and it's 0 and 1 well these Royals showing great discipline at the plate and patience definitely seems to be the name of their game in this one they're doing a good job of working the pitch count and they've been able to push a couple of runs across to score as well that one ripped and foul as it bangs off the fence. the pitch and a foul ball he stays alive still relatively early but with the pair of runs already on the board the ripple effect of that high pitch count might set him up to do more damage later in this game
Man at second. Swings and misses. Picks up strikeout number seven. Boog gets talked about a lot, but a good high fastball in a two-strike situation, it's just become such a problem for hitters in more recent years. But with all of the emphasis by pitchers on developing that spin rate, having a good grip on the baseball, those high fastballs, they kind of look like to the hitter that they're rising, even though they're not, but they're not decreasing in velocity and spin rate. So very difficult to get the barrel on it. The 0-1. And that's outside. That's a slider for a strike. Just a really nice slider down and in there. He wants to get the hitter thinking fastball, speed him up, and just subtract some velocity and add a little movement. The pitch. Got him swinging. Slider got him for a strike three. So back to back strikeouts now and they still haven't managed to do anything with the leadoff double. Yeah Boog and you just don't want to get careless here. You've done a really good job to get two outs after that leadoff double as you mentioned and just got to execute your pitches and it's a non issue. And that'll fall for a base hit coming home now a long throw home but it's offline. It's three zip. Waste no time there. There are a lot of nicknames people have attached to hits like that. Blooper, flare, duck snort, lawn dart, etc. But whatever you want to call it, it's a knot. And those are the ones that will make you smile as a hitter just about every time. So the lineup flips over. Here's the left fielder, MJ Melendez. To third. And that should be extra bases. And that rolls into the corner. Around third. The relay to the plate. He's safe. Bobby Witt Jr. now. He was drafted second overall by the Royals in 2019. Adley Rutschman was the only player taken ahead of him. Yeah, he was part of a really good crop of shortstops. Bobby was the first one taken, but C.J. Abrams, Bryson Stott, Anthony Volpe, and Gunnar Henderson were also part of that draft class. How good is that? Pretty, pretty good. Just missed. Activity in the bullpen. Jose Suarez, the lefty, looks to be getting himself ready. That one spoiled and the count now two and one. Melendez stands at second with two gone. Two one pitches in there and the count is even. Next offering popped in the air right field. Ward makes the grab and that is that. Two runs, three hits, no errors, and one left. On to the top of the fifth we go. It's the Royals four and the Angels nothing. And we're back. Ready now for the fifth inning. Here's the catcher, Logan Ohoppy. Ohoppy. Reagans back to work. That one's upstairs, ball one. And that is ball one. You know, these Angels, as this game goes on, have to be more disciplined at the plate. They've been chasing pitches outside the zone all game, and it's led to some frustrating moments. They've been fooled quite a bit today. 2-0 to Cal. Here it comes. Slice down the right side. And that is cut on and missed. And that's strike two. And another ball. Now in this three ball count, down in the ball game, you've got to be very selective. Take your walk if they'll give it to you. The wind and the pitch. 
That one misses. So a leadoff walk. It's tough after falling behind a hitter, two balls and no strikes, but now at least he gets a fresh start against a new batter, but he needs to get back into the strike zone and start pitching with conviction. Shanowell batting for the second time, and that's strike one. There was a high-velocity fastball in the zone. I think a little frustration from walking the previous hitter. He's got good stuff. Pitch inside the zone and trust it. The 0-1. Oh, the Angels down by four, and we're at the top of the fifth. Pitch misses there, and it's two and one. Left hand hitter waits, and that one fouled off. Two two on the way. High fly ball, pretty well struck out towards right center. That one back. And it is gone. He circles the bases and they slice into the lead. It's 4 2. That swing just injected more drama into this one. When you have a team that hits home runs at such a high rate, they can get back in the ball game so quickly. That's why that leadoff walk was extremely costly. And next for the Angels, Zach Neto. The shortstop takes the ball. It can be tough to bounce back after a big home run, but nobody on, nobody out. You just have to treat it as a fresh inning. Pretty impressive. We haven't seen that pitch from him much, but he's got a really good feel when he throws it. The one two. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. The wide to kick the pitch. And another ball. Blows the high heat past him. That's a strikeout. Well, that high four-seam fastball has become such a staple as a strikeout pitch over the years. And what's so tough as a hitter is that you see it extremely well. The problem is the velocity and spin rate just happens to jump by you. You expand your zone. You don't stay tall on the backside. And you're really not even able to make contact. If you do, many times it's a pop-up. Ranghifo batting with one down takes a strike. Here comes the 0 1. Well, I didn't like those first two pitches down in 0 2 hole. He's going to have to battle, hope he gets a mistake. Foul ball still 0 and 2. One down, base is empty. Just missed. Pretty standard high 0 2 fastball right there. If you're smart, you'll look for something down in the zone, but not too far. Don't want to chase that breaking ball in the dirt. Not close with that one, and it's 2 and 2. Still only one out here in the inning. Goes down looking. Well, definitely a borderline pitch right there, and he didn't look too convinced as he headed back to the dugout. You know, those are tough ones to let go as a hitter, but with the human umpire calling balls and strikes, it's always going to be on you to protect yourself with two strikes. Here's Mike Trout. Bottom of the zone and a called strike.
Two down, nobody on. Up the middle, Witt. Throws to first. That ends the frame. But not before they're able to draw closer with this blast. It's now 4-2. Back after this on the show. Back here in Kansas City, we head to the bottom of the fifth. And to the plate for Kansas City, Salvador Perez. As the lefty gets to work. That's in there. It's 0-1. Well, after scoring runs, this is where you're looking for that shutdown inning. Get that hot team back in there to swing the bats. Misses the zone, and he gets him to chase. Another 0-2 count right here. Pitcher just in the driver's seat. He can go anywhere he wants to go right here. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. And now the lefty. And that's a little bit high. It's a ball and two strikes. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. Now and next will be the cleanup hitter, Vinny Pasquantino. He's already homered here in this one. Swings through that one. Swing and a ball hit out towards left center field. Moniak pulls it in for the out. And there's two away. The right fielder, number 16, Hunter. Two outs, base Renfro. is empty. Now it's the right fielder, Hunter Renfro, who's 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts. A little out front there as he swings through it. Close, but call the ball. And the count is one and one. Two down, nobody on. Last half of inning number five. And he deals. Just missed. That one almost got him. The other way, hauls it in to end the inning. Royals go down one, two, three, but they still lead this one four to two. Top six, digging in, Brandon Drury. Tired or not, he's relentless with the way he pitches. He might be exhausted out there, but his stuff is still nasty. Right through there for a strike. Double-barreled action in the bullpen. John Schreiber getting loose out there. Stratton also getting ready. And a pitch. And now it's even up. Sharp grounder. That's through for a base hit. So a runner aboard to start the inning. 
That's back-to-back -back singles for him. Couldn't get any air under it, but he smoked that ball back up the middle. Timing was just perfect. Got great wood on it, and there was just no chance for the infielders with how hard he hit it. Taylor Ward will hit next. That one fouled hard the other way. Now this team is definitely looking for a big swing of the bat right here. Try to close that gap. But, you know, at the very least, if you could find a way to manufacture that run from first, it feels like it's really important to getting back into this ballgame. That one misses. One ball, one strike. And fouled off. With two strikes, may see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of the double play right here. And another ball. Way to lay off that pitch down. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Pulled the string on the changeup. He's really good hitting the baseball the other way. So credit the pitcher for having him out in front of that pitch. Clearly he had him fooled. Now it's Anthony Rendon. Swinging a foul over the screen and back out of play. And the pitch just off the inside edge close pitch there and he's kind of wondering where it missed you know getting a feel for each umpire strike zone is something that pitchers and hitters really have to think about and work on from game to game and sometimes from at bat to at bat and here it comes fights that one away still one and two well he got challenged with a good fastball right there just couldn't catch up Got him looking. That's the second out. Now the left fielder, Mickey Moniak. One for two. Fouled off to the right. Moniak measures six feet, two inches, 25 years old. And he's usually in right today, starting in left. There's the strike. Well, if I was to break it down and make it simple, I would say right field's kind of a chill spot compared to left field. Left field's that second hot corner, in my opinion. Swing and a miss for the strikeout. Couldn't catch up to the heater. So they can't do anything with the leadoff single there. Six, seven, eight, two in the bottom of the sixth. It's the Royals four and the Angels two. Back now for the bottom of the sixth, and there's a new pitcher on the mound, Matt Moore. Just trying to keep this one close here, and this is where a bullpen can give their players a chance to fight back into the game. Here's the second baseman, Michael Massey. The second baseman, Michael Massey. Here comes a pitch. Ball one, no strikes. The pitch gets him to chase after that one. Wouldn't chase that time. That one misses, and now it's three and two. Oh. 
Oh, can't pick it up cleanly. But the throw to first gets him easily. And that's the first down. So here's the Royals DH. Nelson Velasquez. Just missed. Activity in the bullpen for the Angels. Adam Simber preparing to come on if needed. The pitch. Struggled a little bit in this one. Couple of strikeouts earlier, but doing a much better job in this at bat to get ahead and find a good hitter's count at 2-0. and Next pitch is outside. And he walked him on four pitches. Close pitch there, but you've got to forget about that call if you're out on the mound. You can't let it affect you going forward. You've got to get out of the inning first, and then if you want to be frustrated, take it out in the dugout. In the air out to center. Trout sizing it up. Trout pulls that one down. The batter, the third baseman, Michael Garcia. Here's the third baseman. That one's in there, and that's strike one. There it was. Oh, oh, here it is. Hit it. He gets a take. Gets ahead in the count. Line drive. Base hit. Throw stops the lead runner at second. Two on and two out. And next up for the Royals, MJ Melendez. RBI knock for him last time. Now a chance to drive in another run. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Left hand batter waits. Swing and a miss. Nice changeup. So now one and two. Wow, good luck catching up to that one. Kicks and deals. Cut on and miss. Struck him out. That's the third out. Inning over. So they strand a pair. Seventh inning coming up. It's the Royals four and the Angels two. Welcome back. We're in the seventh. We have a new pitcher on the mound, John Schreiber. These are the spots relievers really make a name for themselves, late and close. There's not much margin for error, but at the same time, there's a reason they're put in these situations. The pitch. And a foul ball. And it's even up. The only adjustment he needs to make is his target. If you aim at the outside corner, that slider's going to end up way off the plate. Perhaps look a little more down the middle, and you get it right where you want it. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. A big first out here in the seventh via the punch out. Yeah, it just does so much to change the outlook of an important inning like this. When I mean, you got the leadoff hitter so critical in setting the table when you got a tight game like this. So a strikeout really puts them on their heels. 
Nolan Shonowell, the next to hit for the Angels. And the first pitch misses for ball one. One down, base is empty. And there's a foul ball. Right-hander kicks, deals. Ripped on the ground a second. On to first. And two away to start the seventh. Zach Neto, the next to hit for the Angels. That clips the corner. Fastball for a strike. Two down, nobody on. Here in the top half of inning number seven. There's a swing and a drive. And it's off the wall, but foul. Righty delivers. Fights that one away, and the count remains 0 and 2. The shortstop takes the ball. And he grounds one to the right side. And it finds its way through for a hit. And that keeps the inning going. Back to the top of the Angels lineup. And now it's the switch hitting second baseman, Luis Rangifo. That misses the zone. 1 and 0. Oh. And another ball. Neto, the runner at first with two gone. Right through there for a strike. Back to back fastballs in. That last one called for a strike. Probably go away, but look for him to come back in there to try to finish you off. Tying run at the plate. That one close, ruled a ball. And the count is three and one. Mike Trout waiting on deck if they extend the inning. Plenty of pop in his bat, so he could give them the lead with one swing if he gets the chance. 3-2, two, two out, runner on first. A lot of movement in the infield. Hitter's got to stay focused on the pitch. Downstairs, and it misses ball four. Not what he wanted to do there, Boog. That keeps this inning alive and gives this offense a good chance to cut into their deficit. Chris Stratton on the pitch here. Well, the best relievers love the opportunity to come in and protect the tight lead late in the ball game. Some of them are just wired different, so we'll see what he's got here. So two on with two away. Now Trout gets a chance to hit. One for three. And things could change quickly here with one swing. That one finds the zone. Going one. So the tying run at second. Lifted in the air, right center field. Renfro sizing this one up. Makes the grab, and that's the inning. Angels strand a couple. They trail it here, four to two. We're back in a new pitcher here to start the bottom of the seventh. Adam Simber. Pretty tight game, so they're looking for quality pitches out of him right here. Got to do his best to keep the score right where it is. 
So up now for Kansas City, Bobby Witt Jr. If you don't get ahead in the count, you can forget about having any success against him. And a pitch. And a good fastball to start him off. At strike one. Some hitters are just more confident if they can track that first pitch out of the hand of the pitcher. They don't care if they fall behind 0-1. Righty to the plate. Outside low. And it's one and one. In the air, center field. Trout settles under it. Puts it away for the out. The batter, the catcher. Next is the Royals catcher, Salvador Perez. He blasted one out earlier in the third. Just a solo home run, but an important swing of the bat in this game. We've already seen him do it once. Can he do it again? Left field. Moniak gets under it. He makes the grab. And a couple of quick outs. The first baseman, number nine, Vinny. Two outs, base is empty. Vinny Pasquantino steps in for the Royals. He's already homered in this game. And a good eye there. Nasty backdoor slider. There's really nothing you can do with that if you swing at it. So it's a good take by him. Right through there for a strike. Tries to check his swing. Now a look to third. Nope, he held back. Two outs. Line drive. Dives, but it's off his glove. Base hit. Now back, right Runner at first with two away. Now it's Hunter Renfro. Right through there for a strike. Pulls that one foul. And yeah, that's downstairs and outside. Really good slider. He's up there just hoping that it ends up off the plate away. The one two. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. Royals leave one as they can't add to their 4 2 lead. And welcome back to the ballpark. We're at the top of the eighth, and now the DH, Brandon Drury. And the pitch. Ball one, no strikes. Action in the pen down there. James MacArthur, the closer, is getting loose. Smith, a left-hander, also throwing. And the righty deals. That just misses. And it's 2-0. Oh. Now you get to this part of the order. Yeah, there's some pop there, but more likely there's some base hits. So very important to be patient. Let the pitcher walk you, if he will. Sharp grounder. That's through for a base hit. So a man on base to start the inning. But when you fall behind in the count, you've got to come into the zone, and then guys have a better chance of hitting the ball hard like he did right there. And now the right fielder, Taylor Ward. 
0 for 3. A fly out, a ground out, and a strikeout. That one finds the corner. That's strike one. The tying run at the plate. Lays out. Oh, it's off his glove. The throw is still in time. And that's out number one on a tough play. Great job by the second baseman right there. Quick reaction to dive, knock that ball down. And big leaguers just don't panic, not the good ones. He gets up, makes the play, really good throw over to first base. That's the kind of composure that you want to see from a guy in that position. Anthony Rendon getting ready to hit. Base hit. Throw comes into third, and they're at the corners with only one out. Man, those are the types of hits where you don't feel any vibration in your hands whatsoever. Such a good feeling. Didn't get cheated on that swing and squared it up perfectly. Came off the bat at 111, and when that's the case, the odds are very much in your favor as a hitter. At the bullpen is Will Smith. Now pitching for the Royals. Number 31, Will Smith. So in now for the Angels, Mickey Moniak. Struck out on just three pitches last time. Hit hard, but foul off to the left. At the dish, looking to lift the ball in the air in this spot. Anything but the inning, inning double play, Boog. Two on, one out. There's the strike of the knees. Two really good back-to-back -back sliders. Now in an 0-2 count. He's feeling real confident about finishing this hitter off. He can go anywhere he wants. In the dirt. But no advance from the runners. Left-hand hitter waits. On the ground, two ball. Boots it. Goes to second. Safe there. An uncharacteristic mistake from a really good defensive player. First and second, one out. Logan Ohapi, the next to hit for the Angels. A strikeout and a walk. This is what stat nerds like myself might call a high leverage situation. Yeah, Boog, not sure what the numbers say, but clearly an at bat that could change the course of this game dramatically. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Well, this is a critical spot for both the pitcher and the hitter. You can learn a lot about a guy by how he handles these pressure situations. Right through there for a strike. Well, that's really the money spot. Down and away, if you can locate that consistently, it's going to be real tough for hitters to square that up. That's what you love to see relievers do coming out of that bullpen. So the tying run at second. And that one fouled off. Really going after him here. All fastballs to get ahead in the count. Squirts away a little bit. And an excellent job keeping it right there. One out. The tying and go-ahead runs are on. And we're in the top of the eighth. Wouldn't chase that time. This is a really good feeling for a hitter. At this point in the ball game, you know that they don't want to walk you. So you're going to get a pitch to hit. You just better not miss it. And now the lefty. And a swing and a miss. Now two away. Unafraid to throw it right there. That's trust in your stall. Just one out away from getting out of a huge jam. Now a chance for Nolan Shanuel. Oh. 
fought off foul. That's to third, and that one finds its way through. Around third, he will score, and the Angels even it up. It's four to four. Well done, drives in the run. Just a simple ground ball the other way. They've had eyes on it, man. Sometimes that's all you need to do. Just let the ball travel, put the ball in play, and just hope it finds a hole. Now that sets up a huge at bat in this ball game. First and second, two outs. And the batter now, Zach Neto. That one ripped, but foul. Moniak, the lead runner out at second. Shanowell on at first with two down. The shortstop takes the ball. That one's in there, and it's one and two. Well, if he's going to do something special right here, it's going to have to happen with two strikes. That's the third. Sneaks through, base hit. Runner around third on his way to the plate. He scores, and they have the lead. It's 5-4. Just a huge at bat right there. He kind of rolled over on this pitch a little bit, but he got enough behind it to shoot it through for a knock, and... We'll take that anytime you can get him to find a hole. And next for L.A., Luis Rangifo. 0 for 3 with two ground outs and a strikeout. Yeah, the pitch is in for a strike. 0-1. Two on, two outs. Fouled off. He was late. And he deals. Foul ball. It stays nothing in two. Well, he knows they don't want to give him anything to hit. But when you've got opportunities to drive in runs, you've got to expand the zone. He's capable of going out there and doing damage with it. Hard hit. Right side. That ends the inning and stops things from getting out of hand. So they get three and jump ahead late. Last half of the eighth coming up. Angels five and the Royals four. Back now, new pitcher on the mound as we roll into the bottom of the eighth. Robert Stevenson. Now And to the play for Kansas City, Michael Massey. The second baseman, Michael Massey. And here it comes. On the corner for a strike. Action in the Angels' bullpen, Carlos Estevez. The closer of the staff is getting loose to finish this one off. And that one fouled off. Looking to get the tying run on base. And a swing and a miss. One gone to the bottom of the eighth. Pretty big strikeout right there to start this eighth inning. Down one. Any leadoff base runner really makes this inning a bit more interesting. But now this offense has to switch from possibly trying to manufacture a run to needing to run into something or just try to string multiple hits together to get a run across the plate. Stepping in, Nelson Velasquez. At the belt and fires. Swing and a miss.
Swings through that one for strike two. Holding on to a one run lead here in the bottom half of the eighth inning. Outside low. The count now two and two. Well, he might have to look for a different put away pitch right here, 2 2. He's already seen the curveball a couple of times in this at bat, so might have it timed up and ready for it. And now two and two. Right side, hard hit. Tosses to first, and that quickly, two away. Well, there's a lot riding on that at bat right there. Nice job of the pitcher to bear down, make the pitch, get the ground ball. Excellent piece of work. And now it's Kyle Isbell. Fastball for a strike. And it's 0 and 1. Well, we call that key holy. Even though it's right there and looks pretty good, if he doesn't love it, he's not going to swing that early in the count. In there at the knees for a strike. Very solid inning on the mound so far here in the eighth. Holding on to this narrow lead. This is exactly what they were looking for. That one inside, and it's one and two. Two down, nobody on. Fouls it off, still one and two. In the air, pretty deep out to center field. Trout brings it in for the third out. We're back. It's the top of the ninth, and there's a new pitcher on the mound, Carlos Hernandez. Well, one run game, and now the center fielder, Mike Trout. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. The pitch. Here's a swing and a drive left field, and he knew it. A massive home run. And they tack on to their lead. It's 6-4. A little more breathing room is always a good thing in baseball, and now they have it. Welcome to the game. First pitch out of the bullpen, a tough one. And you know he's just trying to get one in there for a strike. And on the other side, as a hitter, it's a great time to be aggressive and let it fly. It's not what they were looking for when they turned to him, but now he's got to find a way to reset. Next is the designated hitter, Brandon Drury. First pitch swinging, Hernandez, the tall righty. He features a four-seam fastball, a slider, a splitter, a curve, and he works in a sinker. And a pitch. On the ground right side, and it goes just foul. Swing and a line drive slicing into right field. Renfro makes the catch. And there's one away. And now it's the Angels cleanup batter. Taylor Ward. 0 for 4. Two ground outs, a fly out, and a strikeout. There's the strike. Well, this is just par for the course these days. Huge fastballs coming out of the bullpen. And there's the strike. 0-2 count, both pitches on the inside part of the plate. Hitter is thinking, I don't want to get beat here. This is a good time for something off-speed away. That's down and in. Well, he's so great about hitting the ball the other way. He gets those arms extended. So right there, just trying to straighten him up a little bit so he doesn't have as much outside plate coverage. One down, base is empty. Good eye in that spot. Outside, and that is ball four. The third baseman, number six, 
Now the third baseman, Anthony Rendon. Swings through that one. 0 oh and 1. Right side. Renfro in position. Hauls it in for the out. And there's two down. Mickey Moniak. The next to hit for the Angels. Mickey Monia. And a curve misses outside. Ball one. One run across in the frame so far. Here at the top of the ninth. And there's a fly ball deep right field. In one hops off the wall, should be extra bases. Around third, he'll score easily, and they lead by three. These hitters today are so great with handling velocity. They're seeing high speeds day after day, and a nice job of turning that one around. Pitching change here, Nick Anderson. And this could be a pretty critical point in this game. They're hoping he's the guy to keep them within striking distance. And here's the catcher, Logan Ohapi. 0 for 3 with three strikeouts. The bit behind with that swing. It's strike one. Right-handed reliever. Swing and a miss. He was late. Strike two. He's had a tough day at the plate. Three strikeouts already. It's hard not to think negative, but you got to find a way to somehow center up the baseball and put it in play. Man on second, two down. To the right side, Massey. Sends it to first, and the inning is over. So they get two runs on two hits. One of them left the yard. And 9-1-2 scheduled to lead off the bottom of the ninth. It's the Angels 7 and the Royals 4. We're back, and on the mound is the closer, Carlos Estevez. I think closer has to be one of the toughest jobs in baseball, and we see a pretty high turnover rate because of it. Every outing seems to be high pressure, this one included. We'll see if he can wrap up the win and get himself a save. Here's the third baseman. The pitch. Close one. Doesn't get the call. And that's ball one. And the pitch. In the air right side. That one gets down for a hit. And the leadoff man aboard. So the Royals batting order turns over. Here's the left fielder, MJ Melendez. If you're going to get something going, this is the time to do it. You get the leadoff man on. Everybody's got to look over the shoulder and say, I'm just going to keep the line moving. Don't try to do too much. Fastball for a strike. Just amazing to me how many closers and back end relievers just throw absolute gas these days. I never would have had a chance. Here comes a pitch. That one ripped right center field, and it's into the gap. Headed for the plate. He'll score, and it's now a two run game. Well, that gets them a little closer in this one. When you connect and it jumps off your bat like that, you're thinking double at the very least. Put a great swing on it, and man, he wasn't fooled at all. Bobby Witt Jr. steps in for the Royals. Oh. 
That one sizzling on its way through to the outfield. And they get it in quickly. First and third now with nobody out. Well, that's a smart decision to hold up with one out and the heart of the order coming up. Don't want to run into an out at home plate. Making a move at third. Entering is the pinch runner, Dyrone Blanco. So runners at the corners, nobody out. Salvador Perez steps in for the Royals. And that's in there at the knees. Late on that fastball. Man, he was really tardy on that fastball. Great job of setting him up by throwing the curveball. Add some velocity to it on the next pitch. Can't catch up. Check on the runner. Witt gets back easily. Base runner with a one-way lead right there. All he's trying to do is get a look at the pitcher's move. Had no intent of stealing on that pitch. And yeah, that skips in the dirt. That's ripped into the outfield. And it one hops the wall. Headed for the plate. He'll score, and the Royals tie the game. It's 7-7. Huge moment for him and his team, Boog. You know, some guys just grip it a bit too tight in a big spot like this, having a chance to tie it up in the bottom of the ninth. But he didn't let the moment get to him. Comes up with the RBI knock, and now he's giving his teammates a chance to walk this thing off with the win if they can push across another run. Luis Garcia takes over on the mound. And we all know about his slider. It's just filthy, man. And one of the better ones in the game, I'd say. Spin rate's very high, and it just breaks a ton. And here's the first baseman, Vinny Pasquantino. Hard ground ball for a base stop. Throw comes in, and the winning run stops 90 feet from home. Nobody out. First pitch swing in, went up there with a the plan to be aggressive. Pretty tough for the infielders to do anything with that one. He pulled it hard into the outfield, and even when you keep it on the ground, it feels great when you hit a missile like that. Looks like we've got a substitution at first. On to run for the Royals, Garrett Hampson. So up next, Hunter Renfro. Swing and a tapper that rolls foul. Kicks and deals. And that one almost hit him. And a count one and two. And another ball. The pitch. Foul ball, another 2 2 upcoming. Swings and misses, struck him out. So he needed a strike out there and he got it. And now we'll see how they play it defensively. Yeah, now they can move the middle infielders back a little bit, get into double play depth, and look for a ground ball and Roll it up, get a big double play, get out of this inning. I tell you what, that was a big strikeout in a spot where they really needed one. Two on, one out. Michael Massey steps in for the Royals. Three-pitch strikeout last time up. Got to put up more of a fight in this one. The last thing he wants is to hit the ball on the ground, but I wouldn't expect many pitches up in the zone. They'll be pitching for a double play in this spot. And the right-hander deals and fouled off.
That one way inside. Definitely got the hitter conscious of the pitch inside. Really think the outer half is open. On the ground to first. And it gets by him. In comes the winning run. And the Royals walk it off. Eight to seven. This team was hoping they wouldn't have to hit in the bottom half of this inning, but they did because the other team scored that run. But they battled back, got the runs they needed for an awesome walk-off win. And a final, 8-7. to seven. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Shambi. We'll see you soon. Seven runs on 12 hits. No errors. They left nine runners on base. Time of the ball game. Three hours and 58 minutes. Thank you for joining us here this evening. We remind you to please drive home safely.